Hello guys, welcome back to the news, my country people. You will be shocked to learn that Peter Obi and Ade Banjo have been accused of treason. Of committing treason, though, they don't just say these two, they are planning to overthrow President Tinibu. And this is coming from an insider. This is coming from a Labour Party chieftain and has given details that you see what Peter Obi and Pa Ayo Adebanjo is doing. Hey, well, they risk life imprisonment because this is another form of treason. It is a treasonable offense that they are committing and as such, sooner or later, they would be arrested by the DSS because the statement of Peter Obi, the statement of uh, Adeba, uh, Adebanjo, is like an act of treason and you know that treason is punishable by life imprisonment according to the labor party chief tino so my country people this is really serious guys let's find out more as we hit the news but if you are joining us for the first time you're very much welcome i sincerely appreciate your presence kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you Peter Obi, who is the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, and Pa Ayo Adebanjo of Afeni Ferre, risks life imprisonment. The two have been accused of making treasonable comments and exhibiting actions undermining the government's authority. Ayo Bami Arabambi, the fractional leader, the fractional national publicity secretary of the Labour Party, made their allegations. Mr. Rabambi have made it known that uh, Peter Obi and Bayo uh, Adebanjo are using the Labour Party's name to create an impression that the party members are planning to make Nigeria ungovernable. So my country people, Peter Obi, who is the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the recently concluded presidential polls, and the leader of the Afeni Fere, Ayo Adebanjo, have been accused of treason and plots to create chaos and overthrow Tinibu's uh, government. And now we've seen that uh, Mr. Rabambi, who is the fashionable uh, national publicity secretary of the Labour Party, have made these allegations. Now he stated this during an interview on Arise TV, where he disclosed that the two have been using the party's name to perpetrate acts of treason. The Labour Party chieftain said Obi and Paayo Adebanjo are using the Labour Party's name to create the impression that party members are planning to make Nigeria ungovernable. So he has made it known that, see, for the benefit of Nigerians, he wants to make some certain clarifications regarding the statement of Peter Obi and the Ayo Adebanjo. He said, see, this statement is treasonable and because it is an act by them, to intimidate or cause action to overthrow a sitting president as a enshrined in the section in the section uh, 3701 of the criminal code act and now adeba uh, arabambi have made it known that peter obi and payo adebanjo must tread very carefully they must be very very careful because at this point <laughs> the dss are putting their torchlight on them they are watching them so they have to be very careful and mindful of their actions or they might face stare punishment. They might face some certain consequences. And during the live uh, telecast on Arise TV, the Labour Party chieftain disclosed that Pa Adebanjo is just a fractional leader of the Afeni Fere and Obi is a nominal presidential candidate of the party. So we know that... Uh, Payo, Adebanjo, and P2B, they are always, you know, moving together. Where we got to see that Payo, Adebanjo have really, you know, deeply rooted and supported uh, P2B all through this while. He sees P2B as the true president of this country. But where I am, you know, getting a little bit shocked is the fact that Arabambi, who is a Labour Party fashional leader, now have come out to say all these things against their own party's presidential candidate. Ha! My country people, a lot is really happening. You know? We never talk the one way they happen for PDP. 
yes the pdp own is understandable that well atiku abubaka was not fair to them the party leaders they were not fair they had an agreement but then they went to their backs and did another thing so some of them had experience of uh, you know betrayal like wiki and tambua wiki and atiku wiki and uh, ifan yokoa so there were a lot of uh betrayals and stabbing at the backs relating to the pdp but then when you look at the labor party i know that at some point <laughs> lamidia papa who is a you know fashional leader of the labor party has also been making troubles for the labor party and the presidential candidate ah her papa made you know quite some trouble in the labor party where well, we got to see him as a mo being planted in the labor party by the all progressive congress but then we are seeing arabambi wow this is really serious my country people so he personally said this that the dss should you know interrogate peter obi and uh ayo adebanjo or they would face legal action on that's what he said he said the labor party is calling on the national uh, security advisor the igp the dg of the dss to invite peter obi and the uh, pai or the banjo over for interrogation if not they will seek a mandamus against them so now everything now lies in the hands of the dss as the dss are already you know pointing their torchlights on peter obi and paio adebanjo they are watching on them you know they are watching them at this moment but guys i am really surprised though. you know lately peter obi have been yes criticizing tinibu's government when it relates to how the policies that tinibu have made you know people have been complaining oh the policies are not favoring nigerians peter obi still tends to criticize tinibu's government on every of their policies and then we get to see paio adebanjo on the other side who does not even recognize tinibu as the legitimate president because currently paio adebanjo is waiting on the court yes the election tribunal to give his final verdict before he can be able to call he said he me i cannot call tinibu my president to a head tinibu is not my president there was someone that also you know made that statement but then my country people we know that the the loyalty of uh, pai ayo adebanjo lies with uh, peter obi so guys this is really serious what are your thoughts on this because with the way we are seeing it i am seeing another molo in the labor party by the all progressive congress for uh, arabambi to make this statement that means there must be something really wrong and there must be something fishy so guys i'm dropping here kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section thank you bye for now